Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you guys clicked on this video to watch because you guys should be ready to go support amazing other YouTubers that I have to mention here today. I went through my subscription list and picked out 10, I didn't even know I picked out 10, 10 YouTubers that I think deserve so much more love on YouTube. And so I tried to stay away from the ones that get a lot of recognition a lot of times or they're like smaller channels but a lot of people talk about them kind of like Lisa Stevens, Samantha March, and Kelly Gooch like I love those three girls and but they I feel like even though they're smaller channels I feel like a lot of people talk about them and so I really wanted to come up with people that nobody talks about that I hear not one person ever talk about. I didn't really try to look at their subscriber count but most of these are under 100k like they're like small numbers. Two of these are over 100k but uh, every single one other than that is 43k and under so most of them are under 50k but and there's a few that don't even have a thousand that I'm mentioning and then there's two of them that are over 100k but these girls genuinely are like my favorite people to watch and I get so excited when they upload these video their videos I know that I only have 3,000 subscribers so it's not really gonna help increase their subscriber count what am I doing what am I doing? I know this is not really going to help increase their subscriber count necessarily, but I really hope that my followers who are so genuine and my subscribers that are so loving that comment on my videos go and share some love on their videos because these girls definitely deserve it and I think they deserve to be watched and I just want them to have a bunch of positive viewers just like I do and I feel like some of you guys probably do um, watch these girls and yeah so if you have some favorite youtubers let me know down in the comments I like to support more smaller channels yes I'm subscribed to more channels that are a little bit bigger too but I really love to su support smaller channels, especially if they're under 100K. So let me know your favorite ones down below. And let's just hop right in and get started with this video. This is not in a particular order, like, who I like the best. The first one is Andrea Lee. She has 4.3K. So she's got 4,000 subscribers. Like, a 1,000 more than I do. And I really enjoy her videos. I think they're very thorough. I think they're very honest and good. I feel like she gets a good variety of products. So, like, she'll buy, like... A bunch of essence products and try them out she'll buy a bunch of like she's done like LA colors before that's like you can find at the Dollar Tree like she's very good at finding brands and a bunch of products that a lot of people don't talk about necessarily and then she does like thorough like best and worst best and worst videos and I find that if I have her videos on my watch later playlist I'm constantly like binge watching her videos you know and I don't know what it is her personality I think it's just that she's smaller of a YouTuber, which is why I like to support her, but also her th reviews are so like thorough and they're very they're very informative. I really like her recommendations. I like literally first started watching her one day, and that day she mentioned a product, and I went and bought that product from the same day or the second day I was watching her. So like I really trusted her from the minute I saw her videos, and yeah, so I really like her. Go check her out. She's amazing. Next is Becca Hart, and Becca commented on my video. A few weeks ago, maybe a few months ago, I don't know how long ago, and she's only got 31 subscribers. 31. And she is the sweetest person. I, you, I'm just watching her videos and I'm like, she's just so cute. So she just joined YouTube. She's only got eight videos on her channel, but as soon as I clicked on her first video, I was like, she's adorable. I am subscribing to her. I don't care that she only has, subscriber count does not matter. And she deserves she deserves way more obviously and that's why I'm mentioning her today and I don't know why I'm holding my pen but I really love her she is like so like in my notes I underlined so sweet like she's just so I don't know she talks about Disney and she talks about makeup and I'm not a big Disney person but a lot of people I've watched that are into Disney love makeup you know she's very sweet she talks about makeup and Disney and her like she has like little hauls of her favorite and hated lip products and she's just so cute so definitely go subscribe to her and you can just tell how genuine she is in her videos. She gets excited to film. I really like her a lot, and I think that she deserves way more than 31 subscribers. Go subscribe to her. She's awesome. Next up is Bridget Kane. Bridget commented on my video a few weeks ago as well, and I actually was like, I noticed she comments on a lot of YouTubers' videos that I watch, like Tati's and Jessica's and stuff. I was actually like watching a video of, I don't know, which a different YouTuber, because I respond to my comments, and a lot of times I'll click on your channels if you respond to me and kind of check out your videos. And... So, like, she commented, and I ended up clicking on her channel, and I was watching, and I was like, wow, she, like, is so 
she just seems so genuine and so down to earth and she's professional and all this stuff. And so I was like, hey, I commented everywhere, I was like, hey, love your channel, I subscribed or whatever. I like to do that once in a while, I'll just be like, hey, love your channel, whatever. Anyway, and then I looked back at my videos and I was like, wait a second. She watches my videos and she comments on my vi and videos and how have I not seen her channel? Because I always end up clicking on your guys' channels. So, she only has 774 subscribers. She deserves well over a thousand. She deserves a few thousand. Um, I really like her because she does do different videos. She'll do like challenges. She'll do favorite products. She'll, I mean, she's just very, she's so gorgeous. And she just does like this foundation oil test, which you guys, I am going to do this video. Bridget, thank you for the idea. Um... I don't know, she just does fun videos, and she did a live stream the other day, or a few, a week ago, and, I don't know, her videos are kind of creative, but at the same time, they're like, they're just classic videos that I love to watch, so I really like her, um, she seems so down to earth and just sweet, and, yes, love her. These are all beauty channels, by the way, so if I do watch you, and you're like, not necessarily a beauty guru, or you're a vlogger or something, that's why I'm not mentioning them, I didn't really say that, but they're beauty channels. Gina, I don't know her last name, how to pronounce it, I'm sorry, Gina, she has 19,000 subscribers, and she is just... One of those people that tries a lot of the fun challenges, one of the first few videos I saw of hers was trying a full face using one palette. So she took, I believe it was her Modern Renaissance palette that she took, and she was like mixing in like oil and water, or so, I don't even know what she was doing, with like these shades and create a foundation and a concealer and an eyebrow product and a mascara. And it was like really intriguing to watch. It was very different. She tries a lot of challenges, which I really like. And so that's kind of, I, that was like one of the first few videos I watched of her. And then she also tries interesting products as well. She, like there was that um, eyebrow marker that was like kind of built in with like the uh, little brush tip looking things that she used. Um, that was, she was the first one that I saw try that product. And she does like overall brand, like new CoverGirl stuff. She tries, she tries to incorporate a lot of different ideas and that's what I like. They're not like the same boring videos all the time. A lot of like comparison videos or like dupe videos too which I really enjoy. So I overall love her too. I think she's very down to earth and sweet and yes. Next one. You guys are gonna laugh at me. I literally discovered her today and I didn't want to mention her because I said that and I didn't want to be like ugh. But by the time you guys are seeing this I'll have watched her for a few days now so I think it's okay. <laughs> her name is Jazzy Philip. Heck. She's from Minnesota, which I think is part of the reason why I like her. Um, part of the reason why I have kind of was like, hey, you're from Minnesota. Anyway, so she did do, I did watch her Shop Miss A haul video. And why am I still holding this? She's doing her videos. She's not going to just say what she wants to say. Like, she's going to tell the truth. She's going to say what she really thinks. She's not going to make anything up. And that's what I like about her. She's very, like, calm, which I'm very, like... I need to work on that. Like, I literally yell in my videos. I don't know why, because it's like, you're right there. But she's very calm in her videos. She, my voice drives me crazy when I edit, because it's just the way it sounds. I think people are just like that, though, when you film. And I roll my eyes a lot, too. That drives me crazy. Anyway, I feel like she's just very genuine, and I really like her. She's the one that has 208,000, so she has quite a few subscribers, so you guys probably already watch her. But there's some YouTubers that have, like, 300,000 and I've never heard of them before and she has 200,000 never heard of her and never seen a video of hers pop up before But she's really genuine and I really like her as well. And then I have Julie Camille Camille I don't I'm really butchering your last names. She has very thorough reviews like she does good like kind of like wear test videos I've been watching her for a few months now. She does a lot of good comparison videos She tests out new products all the time and for some reason I just find her very her videos very intriguing like I feel like she's very like, this is how it is. This is how the product is. I'm not making this up. This is what I think. Like, she, for some reason, there's a lot of YouTubers that upload review videos, and she is one of them that I always watch her reviews. And I don't know what it is, but I just feel like they're very, they're, like, short to the point, but they're not, like, exaggerated. Like, there's some YouTubers that watch, and they're like, oh my gosh, look at this. I mean, and she's not like that. She's just, like, very chill and relaxed. She's got, like, her fireplace going on her computer in the background, and it's, she's just very sweet. She has 30,000, did I say that? Um, but yeah, so I feel like she, not a lot of people know about her, and I really enjoy her videos as well. So, go check out Julie. Rachel Terry commented on my videos. She's commented on a few of my videos, and like I said, if you guys have channels and you comment on my videos, I probably watch your channel because I check out your channels after you comment. And I have been watching her, actually I'm only a few days now. I actually watched a video today on her Ulta, um, which one is it? 
rewards video and that was so informative like i knew about a lot of their like how ulta rewards works because that's where i shop most is ulta i shop there more than sephora but her videos it's just very thorough the way she was talking about them and she was just very i don't know it was just like watching her i was like you're very informative. She's only got 437 subscribers. And I'm like, why don't you have more? Like, you're very thorough with everything she talks about. She's very informative. She's just chill. I'm pretty sure she just sits in her, like, her living room or something, like in her house. Not all this fancy studio stuff that she has. She's just sitting there. Just like you're talking to your girlfriend in your living room, talking about makeup. And that's what I really like about her. She's just very chill, laid back. She just kind of, she seems like she knows what she's kind of talking about. I really do enjoy her videos as well. That Ulta video though, I really, I'll link that video down below. I feel like it was very informative. As long as I didn't tell you guys, I will link all of these channels down below too. I'm not going to leave you hanging. All of them will be linked down below. Sarah Kate. Oh, Sarah, I just love you. She has 731 subscribers. She found my channel. We've known of each other for probably like over a year. Maybe a few years. I don't even know. How long has she been on YouTube? However long she's been doing YouTube, I pretty much have known of her. Um, I would say we're YouTube friends. Have we done a collab before? I don't know if we've done a collab. Sarah, have we done a collab? I feel like we have. But she does talk about my channel a lot on her channel, and I really do appreciate that. She's so sweet. And she does a... She's obsessed with Disney. Um, but she does a lot of haul videos. And I like to watch her because then I don't feel guilty of buying a lot of makeup and a lot of stuff. I get to watch what she's bought but I do like her haul videos she does do a lot of those a lot not a lot a lot I do my A's funny in my videos I noticed I just think she's very sweet and you can just tell that she's just she's just Sarah she's who she is on camera is who she is in person and I really do appreciate that when youtubers I like that and I just think she's so she's just so cute and I don't know, I just love her. So, just is very genuine. I, I feel like I keep repeating myself, but all these people are so sweet and genuine. But yeah, one thing about Sarah, she does do a lot of hauls. And she is very good at uploading too. And she does do makeup videos, but lately she's been doing a variety. So she'll do like decor hauls and grocery hauls and book hauls. And she talks about Disney and all this stuff. So if you like Disney, definitely check her out. Now this is the other one that's a little bit bigger of a channel. That Girl Shay XO. She's got... 336,000 so a lot of you probably watch her but I didn't know of her until Kathleen Lights did her YouTubers video like a week ago or whenever you're seeing this a few weeks ago I don't know when and I clicked on her channel and I was like she is the most hilarious person ever I love her videos um and the reason why I really like her too is she is so respectful of others she appreciates what her subscribers request she does swear which sometimes it can be funny just the way she says it. Try not to swear and use that kind of language on my channel. She really cares what others think. Um, she bashed the Anastasia subculture palette and then she did a video testing out makeup she hates and she was apologizing because she realized she was using it wrong and she just really cares about other people's opinions and other people's um, beliefs and other like she really respects her subscribers and that's one thing I really appreciate about her and she's just really funny she's down to earth and I haven't even been watching her for very long few weeks or something but she's so thorough with her videos and oh I just love her channel and I had to mention her I know she has quite a few subscribers but I just had to mention her because she is so oh I just love her videos so much a lot of these are new but like I've been so inspired to do this video because I found a lot of really good ones. Last channel I have to mention is the Glamour Index. She has 16,000 subscribers. Ashley is someone who I just really appreciate because she really thinks outside the box. So she did a video on the Halo Beauty drama and her kind of opinion on it. And I really enjoyed that video. She's very unbiased. And she's very, like, she will say what she, she doesn't care what other people think. She will bash a brand if she really wants to. Um, she's dead honest. She's just very thorough with everything she says. She's just very, like, I love her, like, southern accent and just how she just speaks her mind. She doesn't care what people have to say, and that's what I love about her. I think her videos look very professional, too. And she's always, like, she doesn't wear fake eyelashes, which I like because she's kind of like, why are we wearing fake eyelashes? We have eyelashes for a reason, which I don't know if she says that. But, like, you know, she wears mascara. She does full face. She tries a bunch of different makeup like her makeup's always different in her videos she's got fun different looks going on and i just really enjoy her she if you're looking for a drop dead honest review 
she is like the girl to go to that's for sure if you guys enjoy this video i hope you will check out all of these channels down below i will list every single one and link their channel i love all these youtubers go support them let me know in the comments your favorite youtubers that you love to watch that are kind of under 100k i like to support those smaller ones like i said give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these subscribe to my channel if you are new and you haven't you just come across and I happen to watch me talk about other youtubers I would love to have you become part of the family also if you guys would like to tag these youtubers or let them know comment on the video that I talked about them that'd be greatly appreciated I know some of these youtubers do watch my videos but a few of them I don't know if they know on my channel I think I comment on most of these youtubers videos but if you do know or if you do watch their videos send them a comment and just say that I mentioned them I would love for them to see this video and just to know that there's positivity being spread because I know that when I did this last video a few of them that I watched actually subscribed to my channel which is pretty cool I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys